Hello, my darlings. Happy witness day to all of you, and welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome to part one of Trewarren Farm. We are starting a new lot today, and this is a big lot. This is the 64 by 64 lot. That is up on the cliff tops, loves. Up on the cliff tops, and home to a family that I'm going to introduce you to in just a second. Um, so it's kind of a split, sort of like jigsaw family that i've kind of connected together to kind of help out with the storyline between the berry cloth story that we've told with george and lady penelope um so that's what we're going to be doing today i've had two ideas i'm going to pop both of them up either side of me here they've each got one pixel between them so this is the sizes that they have to stay um i'm kind of going going to go along with this kind of layout for this farm so a nice big area for crops and stuff to grow i also want kind of like a central courtyard moment so that's what we're going to do that is what we're going to do today as always with the first part we don't really tend to get a lot done i think i'm going to concentrate on the main facade of the main farmhouse itself today and then we'll continue on and build it block by block um as the series progresses so this is probably going to be quite a hefty parted hefty parted yes hefty parted part <laughs> there are going to be lots of parts to this i would imagine um and we'll just develop the story together so i've got six sims i've got two spaces for two animals as well that i do want to fill up uh, i'm going to probably bring in a cat and a dog or maybe just two dogs i definitely want a sheep dog of some kinds so maybe a border collie or something to fit in with this working farm that we are going to be um making today yes we are so without further ado let's flop on over and let's introduce you to the new family so then my utter darling babes here we are this is the lot that we're going to be building trewarren farm on a 64 by 64 lot it's a huge lot but i think it's just going to really work um for a farm working farm to fit in this gorgeous family that i'm going to introduce you to right now they are creeping up into the screen lots of storylines here so we're probably going to be here for quite a while actually um and we're just going to make a start now to be honest with you but look at them this is the new family so anyway let's pause oh they're doing that creepy thing again oh not that creepy thing who was moving i saw someone moving i saw you moving anyway creepy here we are so kind of split off not split off as such there's just kind of just two separate families going on here, but they are one family, if you know what I mean. We're going to start over here with the matriarch. We're going to start with Irish, Irish Sherman. If you remember rightly, we're going to go into here, into the genealogy. So Graham, who is now with the Berry Clough, was the, the head holder of this family, was the husband of this family. Um, and he was married to Iris. He was married to Iris, but he obviously did the dirty and got with Mrs. Berry Clough. Or Lady, sorry. Do excuse me. Um, Lady Berrycloth and their family was just in a big rift. They obviously came to foot that um, he'd had a, a child with another lady. That all came to foot. That was the reasoning behind the splitting of their family and the dissolve the dissolvement of their marriage. Um, and she decided to remarry. She decided to remarry and she remarried Barry. I reckon, I don't know how many years ago, but I don't reckon they're newlyweds as such. But Barry is now um, the man, the man in her life. And they run this farm together with the help of these guys over here that I will be introducing you to. So I reckon these two did grow up with each other. I reckon they did grow up with each other, went to school. That's quite a cute little picture, actually, like that with her little eye closed and whatnot. Um... They look about 20 for some reason because wrinkles are not working on elders at the minute. I mean, look at his skin. What have you been chewing? Um, but yeah, I reckon they were just kind of childhood sweethearts, I would imagine. They kind of rekindled that relationship. Maybe when, I don't know, maybe Iris went to Barry for some advice and stuff about what to do with her marriage that she knew was kind of like completely over. And they just rekindled their relationship together. And they're together now, married and very happily married as well. They absolutely worship each other. Uh, I don't reckon Iris is at all on any kind of speaking terms with um, Graham in the slightest. I don't reckon she likes him a whole lot. Um, and yeah, 
And she tries to keep that away from her family because she knows that her daughter, who I will into or their daughter that I will introduce you to in just a second, uh, it's kind of rekindled that relationship up back with her dad. Um, for the sake of her grand, for the sake of her kids, really, not grandkids. For the sake of her children, so her children will know their grandfather properly. Even though their children absolutely loves Barry, um, because he's a kind-hearted, lovely soul. Uh, I still reckon they kind of speak to their kind of biological grandfather, if you know what I mean. But yeah, that's the storyline between them two. And then you come over to these lot here. This array of sims that i'm going to introduce you to right now so this is her daughter and graham's daughter leslie trewarren now obviously she fell out of her dad because her dad did the dirty on her mother but they've kind of rekindled their relationship and um, quite freshly i reckon in the last couple of years or something so they're just learning to kind of get back in contact with each other after being um kind of i don't know ostracized from each other is that the right word to use no idea, but we're going to go with that. We're going to go with that. They're just re they're, Obviously, she knows now that she's got a half-sister and she's trying to sort of get in with that relationship as well, even though she's a bit, like, annoyed about the whole fact because it was this big secret um, that happened um, when her mum and dad were still married and whatnot. But I reckon she's kind of sort of seeing past that and knowing that she is blood and trying to rekindle that friendship and relationship all at the same time. Now, she absolutely dotes on her husband and her two kids that I will obviously be introducing you to in a second. But her main love, screw the kids, screw the husband. That sounds weird. But is her farm. That's not here yet. She absolutely, I've made her an animal enthusiast as well. I've gave her a really high veterinary skill too. Uh, so I might even do like a little mini vets here on the actual lot itself to kind of look after. It's only going to be dogs and cats, but just so it kind of fits in with the storyline quite nicely. I think that's what we're going to do. But she loves her work. She loves tending to the crops. And it's just her dream job. Oh, she sells all of her bits and bobs um, at Henford on Bagley and the Village Fate and Fairs and whatnot. And also in Brindleton Bay, too, at the Church Fate. But that is her main love, is her job. She absolutely loves it. And that does not go to say that she's not a good mum. She dotes, but she lets these kids completely do what they want expressing their creative freedoms and who they want to be um and that is kind of coming forth with these two now one's a teen one's a child they're both finding their own way in life they bloody are but i absolutely adore her i think she's going to be a real cool character that i do want to get involved with a lot of the other um um ha like wives and husbands around I'm going to make sure that the relationships are high on it. So Leslie, I reckon, is really close to, like, Pam and really close to quite a lot of the others. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do. Anyway, her lovely husband. This is Aiden. It's not me. But um, because I don't spell my name that way. But this is Aiden Trewarren. So I reckon his family is quite an old Cornish family, hence where the um, name comes from. Trewarren is a Cornish name. Warren is a Cornish name, which um, I thought would be perfect for this lot. Uh, and that was when they decided to rename the farm. I reckon the farm was in uh, her dad's name. And she was like, absolutely fucking not. Not happening. And decided to go with her married name for the name of the farm instead. Um, but he's a lovely guy. He's a big friendly bear. He's absolutely gorgeous as well. Uh, and he absolutely worships her. Worships his kids as well. He is more like a best friend to them. He doesn't, he takes on the fatherly role, but I reckon he spends his time um, making them laugh, getting into mischief with both of them and play, playing pranks on everybody else in the family. So that is what I really wanted to portray with him. But again, he is a good worker as well. He tends to the crops the most. I reckon he's going to be the main kind of gardener of this household. Um, but I love that. I love that. And I love their relationship together. I really do. So... On to, sorry, the spin is really big since I updated my camera <laughs> with that cheat. Like the spins that I have to do are absolutely massive for some reason. But this, I think he's the, Sam is the spitting image of his dad. He really is. Spitting image of his dad. He's, oh my God, did you see that? Do not want to see those eyeballs again. Um, Little bit alternative into a lot of like heavy rock music. Uh, he's not really asked about the kind of growing of crops and stuff on the farm. He doesn't really see himself being living on the farm his whole life. He's not really into that kind of thing. But he does help out where and where, when and where he can. 
and he also loves animals. I think he's going to go down that route of kind of caring for animals in some way. Don't know how just yet. And I'm also going to say that he's, de he's in the closet at the minute. He's definitely bisexual. He think he could be just completely gay. Hugely 100% homosexual. But he's kind of at that age where he's kind of sort of thinking about both sides and sort of tossing up his choices and his, um, I don't know, feelings of his sexuality. So I reckon he's kind of in turmoil with that. Nobody knows. Nobody has got any kind of inkling, not any, even his mum or dad. He's kind of kept it hidden um, because he doesn't know how they would react when really they are very liberal family. They completely accept anybody. Um, it's just in his own kind of turmoil at the minute. So hopefully in the future he can decide and know that the way that he's going to choose is the way that he is just as a person. But I reckon he's going through a little bit of turmoil at the minute, maybe drinking a bit here and there, getting into a bit of naughty mischief. Um, and that is reflecting on his sister. Big spin again. Here we go. So this is his sister, Lil's. Um, name is Lily, but she doesn't like her doesn't like being called Lily at all. I can't really get to you because everyone's in the way. And she doesn't take any shit. And you can tell that from her, um, <laughs> her face. She's just like, no. She dyed her hair herself. Her mum found her in the bathroom with green hair. And her mum was just like, oh, Lils, what have you done now? But it's just her. Her mum's going to completely let her do what she wants to do. Um, and she's just she's just a little bit of a rumbanctious. Rumbanctious. One of those words scamp rambanxious scamp one of them um and she doesn't take shit she definitely likes to get in a little bit of trouble she definitely likes to play pranks here and there um i reckon she's going to be a little bit hard to handle once she gets older definitely um but yeah that is i haven't really sorted anything more because i want you to kind of develop lil's character um as she progresses uh, into later life. You could go any way with Lils, which is, I think, maybe she, or it could even be they as she gets older. Maybe she decides that she's non-binary or, um, do you know what I mean? I do, but at the minute, the character, I'm just going to keep um, as it is for you guys to kind of make your mark on. But I love this family. I love this dynamic. I love how it kind of connects in with the other households that we can see here and there. And um, there's this kind of like trio of kind of relationships going on, which I will make apparent in their relationships and stuff when you do get to download the site save file. So there we go. So today, bloody hell, that was a long spiel, wasn't it? We're probably not going to get a huge lot done today. So what we're going to do is make a start on the main farmhouse. Now, what I hate about this lot is this like fountain and stuff out the front here. I've tried to move... Um, bushes and stuff on top of this but it doesn't want to go on top of it because it's water so i don't know how we're going to hide that away uh we're going to do something here i think we'll hide that away with something but i don't know what just yet so if you've got any ideas let me know um it's got a fence on here it does look a bit posh to be a farm but you know we've got to make do with what we've got so what we're going to do now is get into build mode and make a start on the actual building itself so let's make a start on the main farmhouse itself i think I'm going to maybe start the main farmhouse, maybe around here. We're going to go to there. I am looking at that little reference images, image that I had. It's got that almost boot room going on there. And then it kind of comes to about there, not as kind of in the middle. Um, as normal kind of Georgian houses look. But this, I would say this is probably a Georgian farm. It's a very old farm. Um, and yeah... <laughs> and that was my description loves for today that was my description and we're going to stick to it aren't we yes now i'm going to keep all of the sh the wall height short as well i'm not going to go up any more than what i've done here beautiful can we get some better lighting here oh we can look oh how stunning i forget how good the lighting is on this lot it's a really good lot for lighting here yes it has so Main farmhouse. We're going to get on a lovely little roof here and flop this on. How are you lot, my gorgeouses? I hope you're okay. Happy bloody Wednesday to you. I am live on tonight on Twitch, um, delving into gameplay with The Sims 4 Werewolf. So if you do want to come along, 7pm, my loves. And tomorrow, I know I said that Tom was going to be joining me on um, stream. 
Um, he's actually poorly. He's actually poorly, bless him. Uh, so he's been off of work. So he's not going to be able to join us tomorrow. But he said he definitely will next week. So, yeah, sorry about that. And I had a few of you go, who's Tom? Tom is my boyfriend. Tom is my partner. Um, and, yeah, he was going to be joining me for the first time ever on the internet, my loves. Not in visual form, but in audio form. He was going to be teaching me how to play Farming Simulator. Because I don't know how to play it. And he loves it. Um, but yeah, he can. So maybe next week. Let's see if he can get better. Hopefully he can. So I'm thinking, can I just flop these here? That would look really cute. No, they need to be up higher. They do. But there is no kind of um, middle ground with them. And I kind of do want them to be on the house itself. So I'm going to do two chimney breasts either side here. Uh, will will it be too tall when I put these on top? I don't think it will be because it kind of um, looks that way in the, the little reference sketch that I've got. Where are you, darling? Here you are. Let's have a look. Oh, God, yeah, they might be a bit too tall. I think what I might do then is remove the ceiling and then maybe... Let's get rid of you first, my love. Maybe I could raise up in the words of Westlife um to there and slip you inside filth filth oh it's not going to go inside maybe if i went down to that level it will do it oh it does look there we go yes that's perfect that'll be that's a much perfect height for them so i don't know how many i wrote raised this up then but we're going to say maybe there i think that might be a bit too less but we'll give it a go oh really so you, what what why? 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 Ah, oh, I know why. Silly bum. Remo remove the ceiling, did not I? Oh, I'm just doing this now. <laughs> anybody get that reference in the... Um, get in the comments if anybody gets that reference. Just doing this now, and I? <laughs> Loved a bit of Morgana. Oh, I've ruined it. It was from the Morgana show. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think that would work. I think that would work. Now, I'm thinking about going for quite a bricky looking farm. So a, a nice kind of brown brick to red brick kind of vibe here, I think would really work. I'm probably going to have to put on um, a half wall on top of this. Um, if it will allow. There we go. Just so it will kind of just frame in. Oh, really? Oh, I know why. I know why. I can fix that. Yeah, I think I'll have to do that. No, no, nothing bad. And then I'll go in here and boosh out that. And then the lighting will be fine then. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So, let me find a brick. I'm going to find some windows as well. And we'll crack on. Yes. We're going to go for this. We're going to go for this brick here. Where? I always forget where this brick is from. This is from um, Realm of Magic. I just like that darker aesthetic. We're going to go for a bit more of a darker aesthetic with this whole farm. Um, with the outbuildings and stuff. Uh, and I like it. And the windows, you can see they're kind of like central here. Very symmetrical here. But then it's longer on this side. Which is the same as the reference image. And I've seen lots of farmhouses like this as well. So I kind of like that we've gone for that vibe here. Oh, I'm into it. I really am. So what I'm going to do... Oh, we've used that mossy texture on the roof as well. So this farm is a working farm. It's not... It, it, it will be attractive. It will be very pretty to look at. But I think we're not going to have like flower beds and stuff like that. We're going to have very kind of wild, overgrown, um, you know, bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. Wild, overgrown meadow flowers everywhere. So I do want this farm to be a little bit of a mess, to be honest. Which is going to give us a great opportunity to add in as much um clutter and detail as we possibly can um we're gonna go for that still haven't picked a door yet though i don't know what door i'm feeling here to be honest with you i might even do a window here and put the door on the side mm -hmm. i could then lift over a flap like that and put a, a pole that oh yes we'll do that we'll do that so let's fit in with the windows that we've already used which are the ones that we've used to death in this um, save file and it's the cottage living ones they just fit loves you know it just works and that is the vibe that we're going for today yes it is. 
Um, so I might put a little cheeky one like there. You might have to go a bit higher than the rest, actually. Eh, I don't know if I'm feeling that. I don't know if I'm feeling that window. Maybe using a circle window instead would work here. Yes, that's cute. And then we're going to put the door on the side. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be stunning. And I don't know what door I'm going to use, so let me find one. We're going to go for that one there from Cottage Living. I just think it suits the vibes of this farmhouse quite nicely. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, we are indeed. Um, I'm thinking we're going to need to add in... Ooh, oh, I forget that this one... I really wish that this... I love this. I wish this came in a darker brown rather than that warm sort of like chocolatey tones. I wish there was like a darker brown version of that. And there's not, so we're not going to use it because it won't fit in with the vibes that I'm trying to get across here. Um, I'm probably going to have to come out one more here, which I don't mind. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. I like that. I like that. I do. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I don't know whether... No, I'm, I don't want to lift this up. I was thinking about lifting it up on a small foundation. I don't want to. I want it into the ground. Absolutely fine. So we are going to swamp in this build with an old stone wall. Uh, we're going to go across here to here. I'm going to bring you to maybe... In fact, we're going to do the entrance here. In fact, I'm going to put a gate on there. I'm going to put a gate on there. Have we got anything off to the side there? We haven't because the back of the barn's going to be here. So what I could probably do is... No, I don't really want to go all the way around with that wall. I kind of want this to just be in the front here. Um, We'll get rid of that. Uh, So maybe I could do a hedge or something here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's plop a hedge in. Let's get the hedge dreams out. We haven't used the hedge dreams in a hot titty minute, darling. So I'm going to flop this in. Get the hedge of dreams going there. Bring you around to this way as well. And I'm going to use another one of these to around about there because I'm thinking the barn's going to come back a bit further here so we've got access out to here because in the picture the barn just connects straight onto the house here and I do want it connected in a way but I don't want it connected across the whole back of it so we'll do that at a later date so obviously we're going to have like the entrance here for the like cars to kind of come through there's going to be a nice little courtyard area going on here some barns going down the back here and I think all the rest of it I'm going to use is like the crop fields um, and I may even raise them up a little bit on the terrain just so they're up a little bit higher overlooking the sea oh I'm for that absolutely for that and a pasture as well where the cows can go and a little chicken coop it's, it's just going to be it's just going to be delicious all of it it really will do I want to come across here as well just one yeah yeah we'll do that we'll absolutely do it Okay, I'm happy with how this is looking. I think what we need to do is litter the place in some um, ivy. So I'm going to go grab some pieces of ivy um, and some other exterior details and stuff that I think would just look great here. And we'll start doing all of the landscaping here, which is just going to be overgrown, completely overgrown. That's how I want it to look. So give me two tickety boos. Okay, I've pulled out a few items that I just think is going to work well with this farmhouse. First up, we're going to put on the ivy. And I've sized this ivy down to 0.9 using the tool mod because it was just a bit too big. The top bit was kind of growing up above it and it just looked weird. And the same with this piece here. I sized it down the same amount. And I just think this would look lovely here. But then swamped in this as well. So lots of ivy going on here, darlings. Lots of ivy onto this house. I'm going to do more on this bit here. So let's do that now. We may as well. I didn't pull out any more. So I thought, I thought we'd do that together, you know. I thought we would do that together. Where's me live edit? Oh, it's cottage living. Come to me. Here we are. So I'm going to flop a bit more of this ivy on the front of this house. Um, I'm going to swamp in a little bit more there. And I might be able to get on another corner piece. Not you. You? Is that the same one I used over there? I think it is. Isn't there another corner piece? There we go. That's the ticket. And that's a bit too big as well. So I'm going to do the same to this bit here and size that down using the tool mod and again we'll do it together loves so we want this a nice 0.9 and it just fits on there an absolute dream there is a piece going up there but we're going to ignore that we're going to ignore that and keep it as it is oh i can't ignore it <laughs> i can't ignore it it's staring at me and saying i'm wrong so i'm going to change it like the virgo that i am 
Um, there we go. Okay. Yep, I'm feeling it. I think that is in the right position. Beautiful. Yes, I'm for it. Now, as I said, I do want to get a proper gate on here. And I didn't pull out a gate for here. So I think I might use the one from Cottage Living. Depending on what colour goes with this wall. Um, I forget which colour goes with it. If at all. Because you know what the Sims are like. Um, no, that's wrong. It's all wrong, I think. Oh, no, that one there does. Oh, blue. I'm not really feeling... Oh, no, I don't know, actually, the blue. I'm kind of fucking with that, loves. <laughs> oh, I sounded so straight then. I really did. Um, uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I think what I'm going to do is fish bash boosh like that. And I might even size this one down and put this one here. What would that? Nope, that looks stupid. We're going to go back to what we had. And I'm just going to use that gate that came with. And I'm going to do it in a green, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Oh, that's nice. Yes. And we're going to do a little bit of terrain painting before we put any of the details in. So out the front right here, I'm going to do all of this in soil we're gonna put a nice hedge there as well we're gonna flop a hedge in that area um i don't know what path we're gonna use i might try that new gravel path actually but when i tried it out it was still a little bit too light oh do you know what that would work in fact i'm gonna gravel that whole area like this yeah no that does that works i didn't think that was gonna work and it does so i'm gonna gravel this whole area here. Gravel is good for security as well, especially if you live in the middle of nowhere. Um, a lot of my um, friends who live a bit more rural, farms and whatnot, gravel is a good security thing because you hear people coming. You can hear people coming on the gravel. I know. I know. It's amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> but it is. It's a good, it's a good thing. Um, we're going to do a nice little stone trim there beautiful just fence that in like that yes we'll do that we will do that now back to a bit of terrain painting back to you terrain painting um i'm gonna flop oh no not you not you darling flop you all the way along there as well uh and we'll go under there but we're not gonna do that just yet i don't think maybe we are maybe we are so let's just Get underneath of that hedge. Maybe just in the front for the minute. Just for the screenshots, you know. And then I'll go smaller. Get in some of my favourite. and Just tie that grass in. With the harsh edge of the soil. <laughs> and I might even do a little bit by the path there as well. A little bit of greenery there. Oh, beautiful. In fact, we'll do that all by the wall itself. And it looks like moss then, even though we won't see it because there's going to be a hedge on top. But again, as I say, as long as I know it's there, it makes me feel better. Right, I'm going to flop you to here. Oh, not up on the roof, loves. This is not 2000 and whenever The Sims came out. When did The Sims come out? Far too long ago. Sims 5, come at me. Um, Yeah, that kind of vibe. I do want this tree in this... I think I want to put it outside the actual house itself. In fact, I probably want to whiffle you off into the corner, actually. Yeah, we'll put you in the corner. Let's make sure you're not creeping into the interiors. You are a little bit there, my darling. Flop you to there, and I'm going to balance that wheel, old tractor wheel, on there with maybe some of these little milk kegs, or whatever you would call them, off to the side. Oh, stop. Oh, for it. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. I do like that a lot. Now, I want a drain pipe. So I do, I think I'm going to do it centrally. I'm going to put the drain pipe there. So I'm going to put up a trim to make it act as guttering. The one I think looks good as guttering is the high to hide exterior trim. It just looks like guttering to me. So I'm going to put that all the way around. Oh, why did you not go there? I suppose there's a chimney breast there. So that kind of makes sense. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep that. We'll keep that. Uh, and then I'm going to put 
a drain pipe up, darlings. Um, what ones do I want to use? Is it this one? No, nope, that's not a drain pipe, Aiden. Ah, absolutely not a drain pipe. Where are you, for goodness sake? Here they are. Uh, it's going to be this one, isn't it? And we'll do that in black as well then. So if I flop one to there and another one there. There we go. Oh, I don't like it there. <laughs> I'm going to put you here. <laughs> I don't like you there, my love. I'm going to have to go there. Yeah, that's a bit better. That's better. So I might even gravel that area in a little bit more there as well. So let's whiffle this up and flop a bit more of this gravel all onto this point here so I can get a little bit of the drain pipe going on. Oh, yes. Yes, this will work out lovely. This will work out lovely. We're going to make this a little bit more wild here with some bushes and some of the overgrown grass and stuff. I might even put some grass in the actual gravel itself. That could be cool. But let's get a drain in for now. Flop a little drain in. Storm drain. Thank you. I'll flop you to there. Gorgeous. Um, yeah, let's start doing this then. Let's start doing this. I do want a little bit of overgrown grass. Lots of like meadowy flowers. I can see that being a thing here, but not like sort of planted flowers. I wouldn't see that uh, on this farm as such. So that's, we're not going to do that. We're not. We'll flop you to there. In fact, you look a little bit too copy pasted there. There we go. And let's bring some of this in. And I think I'm going to use quite a bit of this. Just again, so it looks nice and wild. And I might even, as I said, put some on the gravel itself. Um, let's even size some of that down. Just so it looks like it's creeping out through the gravel. Yes, I'm for it. Same there as well, please. Stunning. Um, some foxgloves. Growing native and wild. Might even put some out here with the hedges as well, actually. But let's just put a few of these around. Try and paint that up in a minute. We'll bring, should we bring in you? Why not? Why not? That You fit quite nicely there as well. Oh, you do. Oh, yes. Yes. But the thing that's throwing me off is the terrain. I need to go into that grassy um, terrain paint and put that just underneath of everything here. I'm going to bring the softness right down, though. And just flow in. Flow it in, loves. Just flow it right in. All the way along there, darlings. Yes. Yes, I'm for that. And I'm even going to go a little bit smaller. Uh, I'm going to get that. No, not that one. I'm going to get the actual... Maybe you. And just... Plop that in the places that the grass is kind of growing through. So it looks like the kind of soil's creeping in a little bit. I'm kind of into that. Oh, I'm going to drag it. It looks better being dragged than tapped. Love that terrain paint. I do. I just wish it was a little bit darker. I know I'm fussy, but I'm a Virgo. I'm allowed to be. Um, But yeah, I would like to see some more terrain paints. I really would. Never played around with custom content terrain paints. I really need to pop my cherry and do that, darlings. Yes. Yes, that's doing what I wanted to. I am going to drag it, though. Rather than doing the tippy taps. Just put that underneath. Well, wow, that grass is kind of creeping through. Oh, yes. I'm feeling it. I might even... Oh, can I, like, do a little bit of a darker moment around. I mean, that's not that much darker, is it? Maybe I need to bring the softness right down. Yeah, we'll go for a bit of the darker um, gravel around the edge of the bill, just so it doesn't look too crisp of the contrast. I mean, it's subtle, but, you know, so are my innuendos, you know, just very subtle. Yeah, that's looking cute. I did use this tree here as well. I think I'm going to flop you to around about there. Just so you kind of overhang that wall there nicely. That's looking nice. We've made a nice start today. I think this is where we're going to finish it. We're going to finish it off here for today because it's going to be long else. Um, and we'll come back with this. I will come up with this tomorrow, actually. I know I said I was going to do a pod project tomorrow. And I've said that in two weeks in a row. But I'm inspired with this at the minute. So I'm going to go with my inspiration and continue on with this tomorrow so as i said we're going to be mainly concentrating on this farmhouse area 
I do want to get rid of the guttering around this side, I think. I don't think it's working around that side. Oh, no, it, it looks better without it. It kind of looks like guttering on the top there now. Um, so, yeah, we'll continue on with this actual farmhouse. We'll probably get around to the back tomorrow and figure out their garden. I reckon this is going to be the kind of like sort of farmhouse garden area around here. Um, and we'll start connecting in with the barn that's going to go on this side. Um, but, yeah, this is going to be a big project, my darlings. Um, but I'm so far i'm feeling it absolutely feeling it i'm gonna leave it here for today thank you so much for watching i appreciate you get some lovely comments down below um i'm gonna be answering them i know i haven't answered a couple of my videos past um but i just need to get around to that so expect some replies as i said last week too anyway hopefully i'll see you on twitch tonight 7 p.m for some sims but if not i will see you all tomorrow with the next part of this goodbye